uh, it, we built it from 1868 to 1872. It took five years to construct. Fifteen thousand blocks of grain, and over twelve million bricks using this construction. We are now going into one of the many rooms where Masons have meetings. So you'll notice in the room that there's, there's these three uh, candles, or, or what we would call burning papers in the sonic. They are in a right angle. Uh, you know, angles, of course, being sort of geometry. They represent the sun, the moon, and the worship master. The worship master is the president of the So he sits there, uh, which we refer to east, regardless of if it, its actual position outside the building, we refer that to east. The second indicator is the senior warden who sits there, and then the junior warden who sits here. Uh, so a candidate will be on this side, and the worship master, or the uh, officer that's giving him his degree, will be on this side, and here will be the holy book of where of the person here. So it could be a Bible, it could be a Quran, it could be a number of books throughout the world. And generally during meetings, the, the, there is a, a holy book out on, uh, uh, out on open on the altars. And sometimes that's how you kind of know that the meeting's in session. Uh, the worship master, uh, a very, sort of an interesting fact about this is this line here. The worship master, when they have uh, the lodging session, nobody walks between him and the Holy Book because that's where it's supposed to draw his inspiration. Now originally we had gas lanterns. I, don't, I honestly don't know how that works. I should have asked Billy. But if you look up, these were called at one time gas lanterns that were uh, converted to electricity when we purged the gas line and we ran conduit for them. So uh, a mason should stand upright. That's that symbol. That's the sort of dual meaning of that. Uh, the square, you've heard of the term fair and square. So um, we say it's a square action and a square of virtue. Uh, and the compasses, keep yourself in, in, within due balance. Uh, you'll see what most people refer to as the Star of David. Yeah. What we refer to as the Seal of Solomon, his son. So we, uh, a lot of our tradition goes back to different uh, holy figures and different uh, moral lessons. So. Uh, King Solomon and King David, there's a story about that, and the Masonic and, and us Masons take that story and turn it to have lodge meetings. And we still have that purpose, hey? we still have lodge this meetings. Is my, this is where I have my lodge meetings. Oh, this yeah. Yeah. Lodge yeah. This is where he meets, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. I know there are lodges all over, but I didn't, I thought this was specific for special occasions. No, no, I come no, no, here. No. It's yeah. whoever, it was Philadelphia, essentially, who's, who's in this geographic area. Okay. They meet here. And we do have events here. We have wedding corporate events, which are uh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Is it difficult to get in then? I mean, as a, as a... No. It's uh, as Mason? Yes. No, they just uh, essentially ask. Them. And then, uh, and then, uh, assuming... Do they have to sponsor you? They, they do, uh, but you can come up and like, there's, there's ways to go on our website and ask. What they're going to do is they're going to check, make sure you're a good moral character, that your family agrees with it. So one of the popular locations, if you look up, oh, yeah, this is a star. It's, nice. it's under the stars. So at one time, we used to have um, skylights. And that, it would come through there, and right here, this, we built a floor around here, it was just a... a a walkway on either side, and this is open, so so light can come all the way through to the bottom of the floor. So it's free. It's nice. So this is uh, uh, this room is Gothic Hall. Gothic Hall is the room where the Knights Templar meet. Now I don't know much about these guys, except that you need to be a Mason to join. They play music on an organ during meetings. That's why the creepy organ music's being played. Uh, the furniture in this building is actually older than the building. This was from 
our previous location on Chestnut Street, and it fell victim to fire. Two of our places actually fell victim to fire. It's kind of an off tour, but this is, I'm going to show you an area, these pocket doors I love. So take a look what's behind them. Mm. So the Knights Templar is, uh, again, a group that meets in Pennsylvania. This commandery is the oldest commandery. It's a little over 250 years old. We're afraid to take that banner around with that casing because we think it's going to disintegrate. However, these, these are the banners that they would carry in parades. Some of the banners are uh, completely... That clock used to be a sundial. The brick has a very special purpose, but the tour guide didn't mention it, so I, I'm not sure if I can mention it. Here's another brick from another room. Uh, in front of us is a depiction of Moses in the burning bush. You'll see that is Billy. Uh, one of the so the the idea of this uh, is to give a open theater esque feeling about this. Now this is where our grand master meets. The grand. Uh, when he meets in uh, Philadelphia, this is where he holds a meeting. You're Their thumb prints. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. If you, the, the little dots, each one of them are thumb prints. Yeah. Amazing. Those thumb prints are from the people who helped build this building. That's a theory, at least. Each room is just spectacular. They really had a passion for what they did. A couple of neat things about the design of this room. One is it comes from the Alhambra, uh, Spain, uh, and it pays, really pays tribute to the Islamic uh, style of art. And if you notice, every brick in this video says something different. This one says Oriental. We're in the Oriental Hall, um, that's why. And it's just, and, it, and if, you look at the, uh, if you look at the design here, it's beautiful. If you notice, there's, there's uh, wires, cords hanging from the uh, suspension up here. One of our groups uses, puts curtains up to correspond in color with these chairs. And, they, and again, they use it as to teach another, excuse me, lesson. Uh, Morality. And again, the pictures here are gas and then we convert electricity. 
5,000 panels in, in this. So these are all individual. If you look up, uh, these are all individual panels. So the amount of detail that went into um, each room is just spectacular. They, really have they were filming a TV show today. Masons are just a group of guys who look out for one another. There's a lot of charity stuff. Masonry is, um, no one is perfect except God. So every room in this lodge is a tiny mistake. Do you know that? instead of rolling video. It's such an impressive room. I'm, I'm including the photographs because it, you really have to see this room in person. So if you ever come to Philadelphia, I highly recommend checking out the Mason's Lodge. It's right across the street from City Hall, and the tour will only take about an hour or so. When I was becoming a Freemason, uh, this man here, uh, Brother Frank, helped me and was so patient with me. And uh, he passed away recently. But if you're watching this video, I want you to know, this man here was one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life.